Lemon Cash, a crypto exchange with operations in Argentina and Brazil, cut 38% of its workforce, about 100 employees on Thursday, citing the challenging industry environment and the lack of a clear recovery horizon in the venture capital market. Both Argentine and Brazilian offices were affected, CEO Marcelo Cavazzoli said in an interview. The job losses at Lemon Trump those at other Latin crypto companies as they respond to the state of the industry. In May, Moonbit laid off 45% of its staff, some 80 employees due to what the crypto exchange called global overhaul in the tech industry. Bitso, another exchange, also laid off 80 employees in May. Consensus has informed users that it intends to collect additional data from those who use its popular Infura tool, prompting criticism on social media. When you use Infura as your default remote procedure call provider in Metamask, it will collect your IP address and your Ethereum wallet address whenever you make a transaction according to updates to Consensus Privacy Policy. Consensus claims that if you use your own Ethereum node or a third-party RPC provider with Metamask, neither Infura nor Metamask will collect your IP address or Ethereum wallet address. Starling, a UK-based digital bank, is the latest financial institution to prohibit crypto-related transfers and activities for its card holders. Customers of Starling will no longer be able to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or receive incoming transfers from cryptocurrency exchanges or merchants. The news was announced by the online bank in a statement to customers and on Twitter, citing the perceived high risks of cryptocurrency trading. In addition, the bank described cryptocurrencies as high risk and widely used for criminal purposes. In the upcoming segment, we will let you know about the following updates. Pop-Tarts launches first UK campaign in the metaverse. Mattel is launching a Hot Wheels NFT collection and a brand new marketplace. Crypto lender Hodelnot reportedly faces police investigation in Singapore. Stay tuned.